Hi, my name is Father Ben Bradshaw. I'm very happy to be with you. Today I want to speak to you about the four cardinal virtues. And the word carde in Latin literally means hinge. It's from these four virtues that all the other virtues come. <laughs> if you've ever studied classic French cooking, you know that they have what they call the mother sauces. And if you learn the mother sauces in French cooking, you learn how to make literally hundreds of varieties of sauces that all find their root in these cardinal sauces. Same thing with the cardinal virtues. From these four virtues of prudence, justice, temperance, and fortitude, all the other virtues come. For instance, with temperance, the virtue of chastity finds its root in temperance. So what is a virtue? What does it mean to be virtuous? The Catechism of the Catholic Church tells us that a virtue is a habitual disposition to do the good. A habitual disposition to do the good. What does that mean? It means very simply, the more we practice the good, the more we want to do the good. The easier it comes from us. <laughs> Conversely, the more we practice sin, well, the easier sin becomes. Think of Judas the Iscariot, right? We know that he was holding the money bag, and the Gospels tell us he was shaving a little off for me, shaving a little off, saying, oh, you know, the apostles, they don't appreciate everything I do. I'm just going to shave a little off. You know, I work hard. I deserve this. So he was stealing. And then one day the opportunity came to betray Jesus for these silver pieces. And so he did. And the same applies with virtue, brothers and sisters. The more we practice virtue, the easier virtue becomes. So what is prudence? Prudence means this, that we are not controlled by our emotions. Emotions are good. For instance, in Ephesians 4, St. Paul says, If you're angry, let your anger be without sin because the sun must not go down on your wrath. He's talking about two types of anger. Anger that's sometimes just, but anger that becomes hate. But prudent person is not controlled by their emotions. So let's say I send you a nasty email attacking you. So you get it and you think, oh, how dare you, blah, 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 blah. So we can wait, take a deep breath, <laughs> or maybe we can send a return email in a couple days after we can relax. That's prudence. Justice means that we appreciate and respect both God and other people, whether that's honoring the Sabbath or honoring the dignity of the human person in all of its stages. Prudence, justice, temperance. Temperance literally means, brothers and sisters, that we can control our appetites. Our appetites to food, to drink, gambling, sex, that we control our appetites, we're not controlled by them. And fortitude means of courage. Anybody that's been in battle, every, anybody that's been through times, difficult times in your marriage, your priesthood, and religious life. We need fortitude sometimes. God gives us these virtues, and as we grow in virtues, this affects us, and in the, at the same time, it also affects other people because we need more saints in the world. May God bless you. Thank you.